Hey YouTube, what's going on? It's Honcho here. Um, today's going to be another short video. I'm going to show you how to make sure you're running Epic Games Launcher um, in the best way possible for Fortnite and just talk about a few little things along with it. So I'm going to load it up here and we're going to go into library. So every time there's a Fortnite update, I can't remem remember if it's Tuesdays or Wednesdays that it happens on. But click on these three dots here and verify your game file after you do it. Um, I found that it runs a lot, Fortnite runs a lot smoother if you do this every time after the update or just try to do it like once a week. And then in the preferences here under the settings tab down here, I unclick everything except run when my computer starts. Um, this will actually cause your game to crash a lot, show free game notifications and stuff. Um, but you don't need any of these running in the background. Or not running in the background, but you don't need any of these checked to um, work, especially this one. Uh, and then we're also going to go down to the managed games and turn off allow installs during gameplay. Click on Fortnite right here. Auto update Fortnite. Additional command line arguments. We're going to be using use available all cores, no splash, LAN play, and no texture streaming. So. If you type in, just to show you why we're using these, if you type in command line arguments on Google, oops, Unreal Engine. You'll find this page right here. This tells you what all the command line arguments do. So, LAN play. Tell the engine not to cap bandwidth when connecting to servers. So this allows you to get full bandwidth when you're playing. Um, I don't do this one. You can do it. Um, force throttling of network updates. I don't care to do that because it doesn't affect the actual gameplay. Uh, no splash. Disable use of splash image when loading the game. Just helps the game load up easier. No texture streaming. I would only use if you have at least 8 gigabytes of RAM when you're playing. Um, this helps the. This helps me a lot when I'm editing in a box. Um, I feel like I can see everything a lot smoother, especially during end game. Whenever I turn this off, I can tell a difference, especially if I'm box fighting in in a game. Uh, use all available cores. Force the use of all the cores on your platform. Um, I see a lot of people using the preferred processor one to set the affinity thread for a specific processor, and then they set it for like if you're going to task manager and CPU, you'll see that I have eight processors. But you're setting it for a specific processor. So to like people are like, make sure you set it at eight so it goes to your eight. That's, I, I'm pretty sure that's not how it works. And it actually like sets it to prefer the processor as eight, which it doesn't work like that at all when you look at your CPU when you play. And I have a lot less hitches and frame drops when I took this off. So I would not use preferred processor especially. Um, right now after the latest updates for um, chapter 2 season 3 and there's one more thing I want to show that helps especially if you are using um, DX12 so we're gonna click on the friends tab here social settings these settings that I have right here those don't matter the show up notifications you can use this if you find your game crashes when you use um, when you get a friend request, but I don't have that problem. But show notifications, turning off right there helps a lot for um, frame drops in game and not having your game crash when you get like the D3D um, game crash. So that's the video for today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys. Uh, this helps you out. Please subscribe. Uh, thank, thank you very much.